Day one of voluntary mini camps, and uh, I got a few videos for you guys. What is up, Finn fans? Yes, today is day one of voluntary mini camps today and tomorrow. Uh, let me give you an update and I will pop up the important dates essentially. So again, today and tomorrow is voluntary mini camps to get together, kind of work over things, yada, yada. OTAs don't start until May 16th. You, know, you can probably say right here. May 16th and the 17th, the 19th, 23rd, 24th, 26th. 6th and 7th, and then the 9th and the 10th, and then mandatory uh, mini camps is June 1st and 2nd. So June 10th is the last day of OTAs, then they go on about a month break, and then mid to late July, being that the Dolphins have a new head coach, they're going to be one of the teams that come for training camp earlier, uh, is when training camp starts. And I'll get you those dates when they are released and let you guys know what's open to the public and all that good stuff. But again, these are the important dates, and you can see voluntary mini camps were today, and they will be tomorrow. Again, they are voluntary. A lot of people are, are getting bent out of shape about, you know, uh, AJ uh, Brown trying to remember names, Debo Samuel and some of these other receivers not being at voluntary uh, mini camps. So there's that. Uh, real quick, got a shout out today's sponsor, manscaped.com. I'd like to thank Manscaped for being the sponsor of today's video. Now, if you didn't know, April is National Testicle Cancer Awareness Month. And yes, you know, obviously Manscaped, and testicle cancer awareness is going to go hand in hand for obvious reasons, but they are teaming with the testicle cancer society to help, uh, essentially put the awareness out there and the understanding of testicle cancer. And that is a very big thing because if you didn't know this, and this blew my mind, right? One man, every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicle cancer. And it's, it takes, effective from age 15 to 35 and i'm turning 35 so it's something that i am taking very seriously but again manscape.com is partnering with testicle cancer Aware uh, society for the month of april starting from uh april 26th to may 22nd and they're having this really cool new uh lawn mower 4.0 i'll pop it up you'll see it has the cool purple design on it that helps us to, you know, remind us essentially that every once in a while, you got to check the marbles to see if you got any lumps or anything down there. You know, they, they have that motto, we save balls. So this trimmer that is purple is a collector's edition and there's only going to be 10,000 of them. So again, this, this promo is going to end on May 22nd. So if you do want to go out and grab yourself one, you don't you have a limited amount of time to go out and grab yourself one of them and with this new um 4.0 purple trimmer manscape.com is donating fifty thousand dollars to the testicle cancer society to help fight and w impact testicle cancer so again to purchase this new uh t tcs lawnmower 4.0 to support the cause uh, and for more information, you can perform simply routine checks and everything. You can visit this site, manscaped.com slash TCS. And uh, if you want to help support their mission to shave balls and save balls, learn more by going to manscaped.com slash TCS or donate at testiclecancersociety.org. And obviously, if you want to grab yourself the Manscaped Lawn Mower, I think they have the t-shirts there. We save balls. You can go to manscaped.com, use the promo code TCSDDW, and you get yourself 20% off and free shipping, manscaped.com. So, Manscape, again, you guys are doing fantastic work with testicle cancer awareness, and you guys got some fantastic products. So, again, if you want to go grab yourself some, get 20% off, use the promo code TCSDDW, and you get yourself 20% off and free shipping. So, yes, uh, like I said, I have some videos for you guys. I'll start popping them up. This first one I'm going to pop up is Tua hitting Tyreek Hill. Quick pass, 
Hit some about a what a six yard pass. It's just nice to see them working together, going through the motions. Then I also have this video from Tua to Cedric Wilson, an out route, nice throw there. Um, have this video here of um, Sam Aguavin and Javon Holland celebrating again. It's it's just awesome to see them back in their jerseys going through it again. These are voluntary mini camps. These aren't anything crazy. And then the last one I have though is Javon Holland working on his interception skills. And what we saw from Javon Holland last year was his base, right? It's, I'm a rookie, this is where I'm starting, only can go up. And the fact that we got that out of, like we got the play that we got out of that is just, it's so exciting to see what this guy can do. Now, I just want to, <laughs> I have a comment of the day for today, but I do want to talk about some things involving mini camps and OTAs and stuff, right? So, you know, they the Miami Dolphins released the video of Tua throwing that quick pass to Tua talking about uh, to um, Tyreek Hill, and of course, everyone's like, <laughs> "It's a five yard pass." Not everyone. There's the the minority of the loud uh, haters that are like, "Oh, here we go, five yard pass," um, and it's already starting. And I made the tweet where I'm just like. It's oh, it's mini camp, voluntary mini camps. They're warming up. There's no defenders. They're not trying to do anything crazy, and people are already starting, right? Already starting with oh, this five yard pass, blah, 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 blah. not realizing that the field's cut in half, and we don't know what type of drills they're running and all that stuff. And then, of course, you know, with the Cedric Wilson pass, everyone's like, oh, look at that tight coverage. It's like when once these videos come out, the the haters just come out of the woodwork and are like, "How can I scrutinize a, a meaningful, a meaningless five second video?" Okay, let's say it's short past and it's the ah oh, blah 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 blah. You can't have anything nice, but um, with the voluntary mini camps, there's not going to be like OTAs. I think I'm going to have more news and more notes uh, coming out about that. I specifically wanted to make this video mostly for you guys that aren't on Twitter to be able to see the videos that the Dolphins released, kind of giving you guys an idea of, you know, just seeing the guys in the jerseys, tossing the ball around. They didn't say who was there, who wasn't there for the Dolphins again, because it doesn't matter. It's voluntary mini camps. The mandatory mini camp isn't until what I say, June 1st and 2nd, and then you have OTAs. That's when you really start to realize who's there and who's not there. Um, and then just addressing the stupidity of people like you can't enjoy anything anymore. I've come to that conclusion. You just can't, uh, but comment below again, just really quick. Wanted to come on here, talk about the mandatory mini camp, uh, the voluntary mini camps and all that good stuff, but comment below. And I have comment of the day here. And this comment comes from Eps one, two, three. And he says, one of the big reasons I hate to, uh, he makes good people say ridiculous stuff, in my opinion. He makes the fan base so divided, and I hate it. Either you believe all in, or you're illiterate to a hater. That's how I feel, honestly. Tell me differently. Now, Epps came out and said that because I made a tweet uh, essentially saying that if you say to a can't or doesn't throw the deep ball, you're illiterate to football. Because I've already made a video and I've already talked about and showed proof of him throwing the deep ball, him connecting on the deep ball, and that he can do it. It's just he doesn't do it consistently or he doesn't notice it consistently. And some people took offense to that. Now, again, if you think that I'm targeting you, but you don't think that, you know, oh, I never said that, that's not you. Plain and simple. But what Epps says here, right? One of the reasons I hate Tua. Now, why? Now, you hate Tua in this comment. He makes good people say ridiculous stuff, in my opinion. He makes this fan base so divided. Tua doesn't do any of that. Tua is literally playing quarterback, focusing on the new offense, focusing on getting wins for this team, focusing on making this team better. That is Tua focusing on. You guys go back and watch my, uh, my reaction to his interview with the fish tank. He even said, you know, Oh, you've, they asked him, you've had six offensive coordinators in six years. What is that? And he's like, that's football. He will never put the blame on anyone else. He, so to say he is dividing the fan base is 
not correct because he's not. He's not saying all oh, my Tua fans are the best and the Tua haters can go suck a butt and Tua haters can the, the work. No, he's not addressing that. He's not saying that. It's the fan base itself is dividing, right? If you are for Tua and you point out the good, the negatives come out and they shoot down the good. That's not true. Well, what about this? And that's not true. What about that? And if you're against Tua and you point out the bad, the good come out and say, well, what about this? And it's not Tua dividing the fan base. It's the fans dividing the fan base. It's, it's the extremes. It's just like politics. There's the far right and the far left. And then there's people in the middle. The far left are, are ridiculous, you know, wanting things that are just nonsensical. And there's the far right that are, um, well, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to get into it. I'm going to piss people off. But it's like that. There's the far left, far right. And the same thing goes with Tua fans. And, and then there's the people in the middle like me who can see the good and can see the bad and just want to see what this kid can do and just want to win football games because I'm a Dolphin fan. So it's not Tua dividing the fan base. It's the fan base dividing the fan base. Because you can't let other people have a difference of opinion. And I'm noticing that, right? I read all your comments. I read everyone's comment on Twitter. And I notice that if you say something good about Tua, if someone in the national media says something good about Tua, then the haters come out and they have to shoot it down. They have to say, that's not true. They have to say, well, what about this? Or, all right, yeah, he's good at this, but like... Tua Tungavailoa, you know, deep passes past the 20-yard line. Uh, he is second in the NFL in completion percentage on those deep passes, second to Justin Herbert. And you'll have Tua haters come out and they'll say, oh, yeah, but it's, it's, it's the size of the blah, blah, blah. It's the percentage. It's the percentage. It doesn't matter how many times you attempt it or not. It's the percentage. And then the flip, right? Tua's... And accurate on going to his second reads and this and that. And then you'll have the extreme Tua fans come out and say, you're, you're this and that. It's not Tua that is doing it. It is the fan base that won't let one side or the other enjoy their team. If you're for Tua, let, let people be for Tua. They're excited. They have a player they love. They have a player they're rooting for. Let them root for them. And if you see people say ridiculous things like he can't do things when you know he can and he can't and he won't do things that you know he will, just ignore it. And to the skeptics who see things that he needs to work on and just let it happen. Because I see things he needs to work on, but I also see him do good things. That's why I'm in the middle. People want me to be one side or the other. That's not how life works. But Epps, I hope I answered your question. Again, it's not Tua who's dividing the fan base, and I hope you don't actually hate Tua because, again, the man has done so much for the community. He's such a good human being. Uh, his football needs to be a little bit better. Again, I don't think he's as bad as some do, but I hope you don't actually hate him. Um, but, yeah, that's what I got for you. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Again, if you're, and I know people that are skeptic, there's a difference between a skeptic and a hater. A hater will ignore the good just to feed off the bad. I can come out and show you games and show you film of him doing really good things. And then, yeah, but the Tennessee Titan game. Yeah, but all right. And there's skeptics who are like, he does good. And I hope he does good. But I just, there's something about him that it worries me. Good. You're th you have every right to that. And then there's the Tua fans who are like, I, I consider myself a Tua fan, right? I, I border more on the Tua fan just because of the haters make me want him to do well to shut them up. Where you're just like he he's inconsistent. He does great. I see him do great things, but he just doesn't do it consistently. And then there's the far that are like everything he does is the best and <laughs> shut your mouths. You don't know what you're talking about. It's because that Brian Flores shot him in the leg one day. And then see what I'm saying? So there's four different categories of two fans. I consider myself a two a fan. I was in the middle. Now that I think about it, but the far hatred for two, pushes me to want to see this kid succeed, to make a lot of people go, 
Uh, yeah, but it, it took everything around and it would be perfect. And uh, that's because it's blah, 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 blah. It's going to be fun to see that. I'm hoping to. It does really well this year. Hoping the Dolphins win 11, 12 games. I hope the Dolphins are competing for the AFC East. Well, that's a video in itself. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Again, first day voluntary mini camp. Tomorrow's day two. If I get more videos for you, I will post a video about that. I still have to talk about the centers. I am going to do mock drafts. A lot of you guys want me to do mock drafts. So I'm only going to do one video, and it's just of the Dolphins mock drafts. So four picks. Maybe I'll do one video with no trades, the other video with trades. I'm going to do a mock draft video, but that'll be next week and all that good stuff. But other than that, guys, comment below. Love y'all. Like usual, stay classy. That fins up.